Good morning. We're doing eggs, waffles, bacon for breakfast this morning. I got a little butterfly. Turn around. Let me see your hair. Sissy did it, right? Super mm -hmm. cute. Thank you. <laughs> I already made a quick run up to Walmart to get milk. We were completely out of milk, and I've been using almond milk for afternoon smoothies for the girls. So we got that. I got a couple more things to take with us to Disney, Disney and more milk. Who's excited? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Outside getting a little bit of fresh air mm -hmm. before so it rains fun. because the, it looks super cloudy outside. outside. It So there's no sun. It's kind of windy. Feels oh, perfect. Almost. Yeah. Hopefully there's some sun later, but... It feels perfect outside, but I just want them to get some fresh air before it rains. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, now you're going to get down? Careful. Careful going down. Go backwards. No, nope, you're going to fall. Good girl. Good job, Mama. Okay, go. Great job. I haven't been able to do monkey bars in years. There's no way I could even swing from one to the other. We've moved on to sidewalk chalk and bubbles. <laughs> Mommy, Mom, Whoa! Bubbles! Peas! Peas! Ooh! Bubbles. Autumn wanted to show her shoes. The big girls are playing outside. I can see them on the Ooh. backyard camera. We're doing her outfits. Minnie. Minnie, good job. <laughs> she is going, I just need shorts for those two, which I have in the washer. She's only one outfit shy, plus Minnie. an extra outfit. Minnie. Thank you, Autumn. Minnie. More Minnie. <laughs> so we finally got ourselves up and out of the house. We had a nice relaxing afternoon I got Autumn's stuff packed up I figured out what all we still need to get for the trip so now I'm picking up my mama Hi. 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 she can't come back forward uh, no more no. does it go back no more yeah it goes back a little bit oh. this or yes this? this yeah okay good you can sit all the way back up this okay Hi guys! Hi! We missed you! Oh, I missed you too. It's been such a long time. <laughs> All since yesterday. Uh -huh. Autumn found some balls in the dollar spot. Target, because so many of you said we had to check out the Mickey Mouse line. So we need to find it. Hopefully this Target is up with the times and has the Mickey Mouse stuff. Oh, they've switched in everything around. Wow. I found it. This looks like boy stuff though. I don't, I didn't see. I don't, oh maybe they have the girl stuff mixed in. Oh, I love the old school vibe of all this stuff. So cute. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's cute. I know. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. Ooh, look at all the Disney stuff on him. Who's excited? Look how cute. How cute. Okay, seriously, how cute are all of these tropical things? I want to buy all the things. We're here for Disney, but I want to buy all the things. Oh, a garden hat. <laughs> 
want to buy all the things for the cruise. I like I find every, I find, I find every good. Seriously, like look how freaking cute! Look, all these things. And there was this little girl in here that had on this outfit. Where is it? This one. And it was really cute. I know. Autumn, the mini fedora. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Mommy, this fits Autumn. That doesn't fit her, baby. She's a 2T. Oh, and that's a 1T? But look, seriously, like, look at all these freaking cute tropical clothes. And that long romper. No, it's a jumper, not a romper. Like, why do they not have one in Emmy size? Like, that girl's 5T, really? That thing is so cute. We're trying hats. <laughs> Sunglasses, apparently. Oh, my goodness. You look great, Mama. We found one maybe she'll like. Take that off. And that's exactly how you would wear it, dude. That's what it's meant for. Oh, that one looks good. Yeah. Let me see it. Oh, that one looks good, baby. Do you like that one or no? I do. Yeah. Let me see. I'm trying on my pink hat again. And the thing is, if you if showing you mom which one I got for Disney, this is what so I'm gonna look like all of Disney. I should put it. I'm gonna look like all Disney. I really like that hat. Well, let me try it on. And the thing is, it's on the very last one, babe. But if you put her hair straight or you put a ponytail, it can always go through it. Yeah. If need be. You know what I mean? They're looking sharp. You and mommy can share. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like this one too. Uh -huh. This isn't uh -huh. bad. You like that one? You guys, my allergies have been killing me all day and I took a pill and I've been shoving pills down my throat. I've been taking a prenatal, no, not a prenatal, not a prenatal. <laughs> I was thinking about work. Hi, mama, you wanna hold this? Ooh, um, multivitamin. And I've been taking biotin and vitamin D. I told you guys that because my hair, I feel like I've been losing more hair than usual and I'm well postpartum, so it's not even postpartum hair loss. And so I figured those would kind of help me get all my vitamins together. And then I've also been taking lysine since last week. A lot of you guys recommended that for the cold sore and I, my cold sore is actually almost, I mean, it's like smooth now. I just have a little tiny, where it bled a little bit, a little tiny scab, but it's, it's going pretty good. So I started taking that and I'll probably finish out the bottle that I have just to make sure I don't get another one because these things stuck. It was awful. I've had it for well over a week now and it's been an awful ride. So yeah, I've been taking all of that. What was I gonna say? Oh, allergy. So I've been taking allergy medicine as well and it's not, I mean, I guess it has been helping because this is the first flare up I've had in a few days or a few weeks, but pretty much like I sneeze all day long. I have to carry snot rags with me all day long. And then when I sneeze, my nose just drips and drips and drips, which I guess could be worse because my grandma has really bad allergies, but she gets clogged up and she can't blow, she can't breathe, and it feels like real bad sinus pressure. So for me, when my allergies act up, my eyes get watery and itchy, but my nose Mommy, constantly, constantly drains. Did you get whatever grandma needed you to get? Yes, Mom, she gave oh. this for helping. Wow, that was nice of her. Can we maybe eat it? Did you get one too? Yes, Did she give you I one for Star Autumn? Wars. Star Wars, let me see. Mm -hmm. Look. Look on the other Ooh. side. Ooh. It's Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Luke, <laughs> you are my, f no, I am your father. Is it true? Yeah, get it. Mm -hmm. Mommy, can we eat it, please? Hey! Love you! Can we eat it, Mommy? Please. Yes, go ahead. Yay. Get buckled first, though. So, um, yeah, I, what was I saying about allergies? It hasn't been... No, my I, dra I have drainage. So, literally, we're in Target, and I'm sneezing, and I'm sure people are thinking, oh, my gosh, please don't come near me and get me sick. I'm sneezing, and, like... Not, it's just flying all over the place. It's insane. My poor shirt is like covered because I would actually it looks pretty good. Yes. Sure, let me have it. Did you get it? Oh. Thank you, mommy. 
Lollipop. Hold on, this lollipop fell off its stick. Where did Grandma get Star Wars lollipops from? Um, In a white bag. Wait, mm. pizza. Mm. Okay, this isn't working. Okay, there you go, honey. There you go, Manny. Thank you, Manny. You're welcome. Oh, thanks, Manny. So, anyway, I you, feel like you're welcome, baby. Oh, you're welcome. I feel like I have been having just shoving pills, and you guys know, like, I, I'm not really a pill taker. I will. I mean, I have to be really like dying to be taking some medicine because I just don't know why. I'm just so I more of like a let my body fight it off. But today I was like, this allergy pill is not working. My mom was like, you need a pill? Like, I, I already took one. It's just not working. I don't know. Maybe they're expired. I need to look at the date. That was a problem because since I don't take a lot of stuff, I... Y'all ready? It um, can... I guess they can go bad. They're so. silly ones. Anyway, we finished yeah. up at Target. I went to go see all the Disney stuff, and I'm really sad to say I didn't buy anything. Now, this... This Target, it was the uh, Westover Hills one, did not have the cups and things. Like all, literally, I have got probably 100 messages from you guys, DMs on Instagram, at pictures showing me all the super cool Disney stuff. This Target did not have the cups, or at least I didn't find them. Maybe I just missed them. The cups and the little trinkets and things like that. So I want to go to a different Target to check out the cups. The water bottles looked really cool. But I wasn't that impro impressed with the clothes. I thought I was going to love the bathing suit for either Autumn or Maddie. I don't know if they had bigger. I didn't really see like bigger girl things for Emmy. But I thought I was going to love the little either bikini or the one piece. And I wasn't that impressed. It kind of seemed faded. I know that's what the whole line is about. It's because it's their... Is it the 100th, 190th anniversary or something like that? So I know that's what it's about. They're trying to go old school Mickey, but I wasn't that impressed. So I didn't get anything. I did get them. I got Emmy two shirts. Which one did we get? Eldo and Stitch. Oh, the Stitch shirt and yeah, and the Star Wars shirt. So I was gonna make her a Star Wars shirt, but then we found a tank top at Target she really liked, so we got her that one. And then I got her a Stitch. So she needs one more outfit, and I think we're gonna find a dress. Is that what you chose? Mm -hmm. A dress. I do. So I think we're gonna. I'm gonna I, go back to Walmart and look, dress. but not today. I Maddie, you're dress. done. You have plenty, plenty. I ended up getting Maddie a stitch shirt as well as her extra outfit, but she's completely done, uh, other than shorts and socks. But I was gonna get those from Walmart because the faded. Which I don't even know that they have faded glory for kids anymore, but. The Faded Glory shorts at Walmart, the jean shorts are like $5.94. The Cat and Jack shorts from Target were $10, $12. So I was like, she grows super quick. Emmy is actually still wearing shorts from last summer. So I'm going to keep it like that. But Maddie, man, she goes out of her clothes literally like every, every summer, every spring so far. Since she's been born, I've had to get her, size her up. Um, I just, I guess it's just her size. She's already in a six, six slash six X in Emmy's area of clothing. And Emmy's barely getting out of a seven, eight. So they're almost the same size. So I need to find Emmy one more dress and she's totally fine on underwear and socks and all of that and shorts. She's good. Maddie needs a couple pairs of shorts and socks. That child has like no socks and Autumn needed one more outfit and I didn't find anything at Target for her except those tropical I did buy her a tropical shirt that was on clearance for the cruise and I got it in a 2T but it was huge super big it was meant to be a dress so I figure by the time we actually go on the cruise it'll look more like a shirt to her on her and then they had so many cute cruise things but I told my mom I was like no because my mom is getting a promotion in January and she may be traveling in March and I'm just is got I don't know I don't even know what to call it but he's in it his job is where like he may or may not be able to take the time off especially since we are going in October as well so we have it planned tentatively for uh, March for spring break but if something happens and we have to switch it to summer I don't want to buy too too many clothes right now because then they may not even fit them in a whole year or more than a year you know if we have to switch it so I'm not even 
I'm not even making any plans. Things have changed kind of in our family dynamic here in the last several weeks with jobs and whatnot. And it just is um, one of those things like I can't really, really plan too, too far in the future. So it is what it is. And But I did find a fedora hat for myself. That, I mean, my head's not gonna get any bigger. And so that worked. We found a hat for Emmy at Target, which is super exciting because literally I had been looking everywhere for adult Disney hats other than ordering online because even a, an adult hat wouldn't necessarily have fit her because different adult hats fit her differently. So I was really glad that we found one in store. And I think we may look for some Disney pins to put on. It's that kind of hat, like a trucker hat that has the mesh in the back that you can put pins in it without making holes in the hat. And it's a really cool hat. Plus she likes my sequin one. So I told her, I said, well, I like yours. You like mine. We can switch if we need, if that's something you want. So I think that'll work out better. We have a bunch of Disney hats that were gifted to us by you guys. And then the one we picked up from Walmart for Maddie. So it'll it'll just work out like that. Work out a little bit better. We can put some cool pins in our hat or something. And that'll actually be a better way than to carry around the necklace to put them on. And something she can remember it by. So anyway, what else? I ended up spending $70 at Target for nothing. I got three tank tops, her hat, my fedora. I really feel like that's all we got. I'll show you when we get home. So then after, we went to Payless, got Emmy a pair of shoes that she really wanted. They're super cute. They look like Chucks and they're, have, they're purple with um, like different color purple and pink hearts and stuff. They're super cute. And she has it for a specific yeah, outfit in mind. Yeah, emoji shoes. Yeah, they're not emoji shoes, buddy. Not they're those They're heart ones. shoes. They're hearts. That are pink. And I was gonna get Maddie a matching pair, but I don't really like the ones from Payless, so we may pick up an extra pair of jellies or something from Walmart. And then, oh, that's my mom. Hello? I had one item I really wanted to get, and I never thought of it. What? Some needles. Some who? Needles for sewing. You're gonna sew? What? <laughs> <laughs> like, mommy, you don't even own a sewing machine. What are you doing with needles? She does. She has a little sewing machine, but she hasn't sewed in years. So anyway, after we went to Payless, which is right next to Target, and then we went to Catherine's. My mom needed to return a shirt. We were in there for a little while. And then we went to go eat at Wingstop. Wingstop is a really great place to eat if you're, e I mean, not a really great place to eat. It's an okay place to eat if you're eating keto because the ranch and the wings are very high in fats and you can have some of the carrots or celery not a lot but some so that's what I did I try really hard if I'm not able to eat sensibly at home and we're going out places I actually try and eat keto if it's a place that I can't choose something healthy like a I don't know slice a piece of chicken with a vegetable or something like that they wanted to go actually Emmy's the one that suggested wing stop and so we we're like, okay. And I knew I had eaten it several times during keto when I was uh, working at H&R Block. So it worked out okay. I don't, what are you gonna do? Then we were going to go to Walmart. I was just gonna knock out all the rest of the stuff that I needed to buy and just literally knock it out, finish it up. But it was like 7.15, 7.30. And I told my mom, I was like, oh, let's just go next weekend. Tomorrow's family day, uh, the dress is off. And so we're gonna go do something. So my mom said next next weekend we could go to Walmart and finish it up, which I may actually end up going just to finish the outfits or ordering them online or something just to finish them up this week. But I'll still finish up the little things that I need because we're all three weeks away, three weeks away. And I know for some of you it's like, oh my gosh, Melissa, you still have three weeks. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But I have to plan ahead, you guys. Like you have no idea how much the stuff in my loft is in my office area is bothering me just laying out there everywhere and not only that I have to make sure we have everything like this has to be a trip of a lifetime and I'm not even talking about schedule wise I'm talking about like I don't want to have to run to the store because we forgot this or run to the store because we forgot that I'm planning so far ahead for groceries and everything I don't want to have to run to the store so I'm trying I'm working on it I don't know that it'll work but I'm working on it so anyway we're home we're going to get ready for bed rest and relax. I still need to edit tonight's vlog. And then head to bed and start over tomorrow. 
Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. And Adam. Good night. See, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Boop. Little late night DIY. I'm tr I'm testing out my heat transfer. It's not gonna fit. Heat transfer on the Star Wars. I'm making my mom's shirt. This is the first time I'm using it. So I cut out my Star Wars patterns, and I'm going to transfer this paper onto it. And this is supposed to make it sticky, so that I can iron it onto the shirt. We'll see how it comes out. Here's how the shirt turned out. It actually was really simple, really simple. I cut it out, ironed on the thing. The only problem is, is that I, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I ironed on the other part of the transfer onto my table, so I'll have to get that cleaned up. But yeah, it was pretty simple. I just cut out the pattern I wanted. Um, I don't know, ironed it on and then ironed it on the shirt. It was really easy. I followed the directions exactly how they showed me on the transfer and it came out pretty good. So this is a Star Wars shirt for my mom. I need to make two Animal Kingdom shirts and the Disney D for my mom, which I I kind of scrolled through the comments and a lot of you guys said that the Disney did or the D did look like the Disney D, so I'll probably do the exact same thing on my mom's shirt and um, I'll just print out a different D. So yeah, another shirt down. Progress. Now I'm going to make this pattern in ears as well for the girls because the girls do not have... Well, Emmy has a uh, tank top that I got her today that says Star Wars, but they don't actually have like homemade Star Wars shirts. So they're going to have homemade Star Wars ears. And I am suffering so bad my nose will not stop running. Like I'm sitting here doing stuff and it's just flowing out. So I'm about to go to bed. I'm gonna lay down, I have a massive headache. I'm having a tough time with body issues, <laughs> namely allergies today, but it's like I, just one thing after another. I can't really catch a l little tiny break with body things going on. So anyway, I'm going to go to bed. I look haggard, I feel haggard. I need to get some rest. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's vlog. We'll see you tomorrow.